what to do when the contact touches him. Yes, we want him to stretch, absolutely. But if we wait for him to stretch, we're going to be here for two hours before he decides to do it. Yeah. So you have to show him what to do with his body that makes him want to drop his neck. Okay? Yeah. So, number one, when you first come out, you were so concerned with going forward, that was the only thing you thought about. And he was really rampantly running against your right leg, right from the very beginning. Okay. So you don't wait until 20 minutes into the ride when you want to start an exercise to say, hey, Get off my right leg. It has to be from the beginning. There are three questions that the horse has to answer at any point in the ride. Go, wait, and control of left and right. So it's never too early to work on any of those. Because your ride comes together when you have an exercise like we just did here, then the horse was willing, because you notice in that exercise, he, he listened to the, the go forward, the control left and right, and the steadiness of the half-halting rein. All right. When the horse accepts that, you, you put him in whatever shape you need to to get that acceptance. And when you have that acceptance, then you can say, now I'd like to let you go in a longer shape. Because what happens is, is when you try to let him go long, he becomes tremendously disorganized. Right. He's in the park so everywhere. So although theoretically you would like to be able to let him go long, if he's that disorganized, he's not productive. So you ride the horse in whatever shape helps him to organize the body parts and unify the body parts for a common goal. And then you say, now let's see if we can let you go a little bit longer and still keep the organization. And hopefully, when he becomes accustomed to accepting the organization of his body parts, he can start in a longer and longer frame as time goes on. But right now, he's too disorganized for that. He needs a little more guidance than that. It's not that the goal is to make him collective. Thank you. 
different is in this direction, he still pushes on your right side. Okay? So if you say to him in this direction, if you try to flex him to the left and say, give me your rib, give me your jaw, he totally disregards your right side. And that's what we talked about before, not having his right ear come too far over the center. So in this direction, uh, you can still say, if you get to the top on the right, you can go dead to the wall. Give me your rib, give me your jaw. Now he's doing both. But many times he does 
either or. But your goal is have, to have him soft in the right jaw, soft in the rib, and, and stepping up in the left hind to the left hand. That's right. That's right. Good. Much better.